With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is, reaction is given to NOBr nitrosyl bromide. It forms to NO and Br2 gas. If nitrosyl bromide is 40% dissociated at a certain temperature and a total pressure of 0.3 atmosphere, Kp for the reaction 2NO plus Br2 gives 2NO BrS. So in this question it is given, a reaction is given that nitrosyl bromide is dissociates into nit nitric oxide and Br2. If nitrosyl bromide is 40% dissociated at certain temperature and total pressure at equilibrium is given, so we have to find out the equilibrium constant for this reverse reaction of this. So first if we write this reaction, this is 2NOBr it forms 2NO and Br2 gas. Now suppose at time t is equals to 0 that NOBr has 1 mole. So its stoichiometry is 2 it means it has 2 moles and their moles will be 0 because at time t is 0 they will not be present and at equilibrium it is given that nitrosyl bromide is 40% dissociated. So, it is if it is 40% dissociated, it means 40 by 100 that is 0.4. So, if it is 0.4%, 0 0.4, 40% 0 dissociated, it means 0.4. So, it will be 2 into 0.4. This amount will be dissociated because it is having stoichiometry 2 and the formation of NO will be 2 times a 0.4 this amount and it will be in 0.4 because its stoichiometric coefficient is 0.1 is 1 so it will be 0.4 so it will be 2 minus 0.8 that will be 1.2 this is 0.8 and this is 0.4 now the total number of moles at equilibrium would be so this will be equals to 1.2 plus 0.8 that is 2 and 2.4 so total number of moles are 2.54 moles now it is given kp value total pressure is given that is 0 0.3 atmosphere now we have this the total number of moles at equilibrium so first we will write the kp kp is the pressure equilibrium constant which is the partial pressure of the products raised to power their stoichiometric coefficient divided by the partial pressure of reactants raised to power their stoichiometric coefficient. Now if we write the Kp for this reaction, so that will be products are NO, so partial pressure of NO and raised to power stoichiometric coefficient and partial pressure of Br2 divided by partial pressure of NOBr raised to power stoichiometric coefficient that is 2. Now we have the number of moles, so their partial pressure is can be calculated as partial pressure is calculated as mole fraction into total pressure that is why mole fraction into total pressure it means we have to find out firstly the mole fraction for the products and the reactants so mole fraction of NO will be so mole fraction is calculated as number of moles of the given species to the total number of moles. So number of moles at equilibrium for NO are 0 0.8. So it would be 0 0.8 divided by total number of moles 2.4. So it would be 1 by 3. Mole fraction of Br2 will be number of moles at equilibrium. They are 0 0.4 to the total number of moles at equilibrium. So it will be 1 by 6. And for NOBr the mole fraction is 1.2 divided by 2.4 because its number of moles are 1.2 at equilibrium so it will be 1 by 2. Now these are the mole fraction and total pressure at equilibrium is given 0.3 atmosphere. So we can write their partial pressures in Kp. So it would be Kp is equals to partial pressure of NO would be mole fraction 1 by 3 into total pressure that is 0.3 mole square. Partial pressure of bromine will be mole fraction into total pressure that is 1 by 6 into 0.3. And for NOBr it is 
वन बाय टू मोल फ्रैक्शन इन टू टोटल प्रेशर दैट इज पॉइंट थ्री होल स्केल नाउ दिस विल बी वन बाय थ्री स्क्वायर इज वन बाय नाइन एंड जीरो पॉइंट थ्री स्क्वायर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन हेयर वन बाय सिक्स इन टू पॉइंट थ्री डिवाइड बाय वन बाय टू स्क्वायर इज वन बाय फोर इन टू पॉइंट थ्री स्क्वायर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सो दिस इज कैंसल्ड नाउ वी विल हैव दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री डिवाइड बाय नाइन इंटू सिक्स दैट इज नाइन सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर डिवाइड बाय वन बाय फोर सो इट विल बी फोर इंटू फोर बाय वन वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो दिस गिवस यू वैल्यू एज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इंटू फोर वन पॉइंट टू डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टी फोर विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू टू दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द के पी फॉर दिस रिएक्शन बट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द के पी वैल्यू फॉर दिस रिएक्शन सो दिस रिएक्शन इज द इनवर्स और रिवर्स ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन सो इट्स के पी वैल्यू वी कैन कैलकुलेट एज टू एन ओ गैशियस प्लस बी आर टू गैशियस इट फॉर्म्स टू एन ओ बी आर its kp dash will be 1 by kp because this is the reverse of the first reaction so kp dash we have to find out it will be 1 by kp so that is 1.1 1 by 0.022 this is equal to 45.45 so its kp will be or kp dash we can write it is 45.45 now we will see which option is the correct So forty five point four five is approximately forty five. So A option is the correct answer. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.